Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And we've got our third, count it, third, EX Shuna. Which, you know, fine. She is a waifu, there are other ladies who have also gotten multiple EX units now. We haven't gotten a single Shion, and while Shion is, you know, not my all-time favorite waifu, she is definitely a deserving waifu, no doubt. And we have zero of her. <laughs> so, the disparity of the anti Shion bias is quite high. But, I figured today would be a fun time to test Shuna out uh, with her peers. So, we did the full Lumi team, and everyone loves Lumi. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that love Shuna. So we're going to be using a full Shuna team. Which actually would actually kind of works a bit better than the full Lumi team. Because the full Lumi team were built for very, very different things. Um, physical and magic. Literally everyone here is magic. So that's great for one. We have stacking protector Shuna. Pierce and stun strike. We're not going to activate that here. We also have the other protector Shuna who's a green focused and gives guard and also buffs greens, which we don't really have too much of that anyways. Then we have Water Shuna. She's an alt buffer. She's an orange to blue orb converter. We have Fire Shuna, which if you haven't used Fire Shuna ever because she's so goddamn old, she is a green to blue orb changer. So we have our orb changes covered for a blue stacking protector. We've got Bride Shuna, who's going to steal orbs for us to maybe if we don't have a full perfect hand that we can change with these two Shunas, we can just steal into six and we can, you know, go that way. We have Fire EX Shuna, who is going to give the entire team synergy rate and swap the alt out for, you know, when we're stacking, right? It's a green orb, but eh, whatever. And then we've got Furry Shuna, who is going to vengeance, I, I, I guess, and rush her alt. I guess she'll be the DPS because we'll be buffing the alt damage and we'll buff and we'll be giving the synergy buff. She has her own wind buff and the stat swap and she has pretty high defense, so I mean on paper, this actually is a competent team for the most part. So let's um uh, let's try it out. Alright, so we are starting out against uh Shuna herself, where it's a whole, it's just handfuls of Shuna all over the place. Who's going to argue with that? Uh, we're in a water tempered edge against Shuna, uh, meant to use a stacking water team. We do have water Shuna, so she will be our quote unquote type advantage DPS, I guess. Uh, we got a good starting hand uh, for all intents and purposes. Uh, we got five fire Shunas, which we'll just swap out for water Shuna, well, I guess. Free to play Shuna is how we'll. Well. We'll say Fire Shuna and EX Fire and, and, and Christmas Shuna. I guess that's how we'll differentiate them. But yeah, you, you get what I'm going for, right? So one, two, three, four, five. That gets us a protect uh, Protector Shuna stack, which again, we're not really benefiting off of because no one's here to activate Stun or Pierce. But okay, that's interesting. Um, I mean, sure. Let's get Bride Shuna in the back, that way we can benefit off of her steel maybe a bit. And then let's Vengeance. What is this? This is a alt gauge rush. Okay. Cool. We'll do that. We'll put a stack of Vengeance on her. We'll raise our skill cap for fun, I, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and, and send these greens. Uh, yeah, Fire Shuna and then Water Shuna last. 23. One damage. Ooh, awesome. One damage? Are you kidding me? Oh, natural synergy right there. That's cool. All right, there we go. There's a natural hand of blues. Uh, we do have to take Water Shuna out, though, because she's going to get attack nerfed here. So we're going to orb change with her, right? Because, no, we can't alt swap because that'll turn into a green. Well, I mean, I don't have to orb change here. I mean, I, I do, but I don't, right? Because I could just bring Bride Shuna in and steal all of it. Uh, well, no, let, let's just, let's get the full hand of blue, and then we'll figure out what to do from next turn, because we're going to bring in that other blue, so let's just take this out. Yeah, there we go. All right, so, don't send Fire Shuna, she does one damage, so we'll send Furry Shuna. One, 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 23, although she's going to get attack nerf now too, and then she's also going to do one damage. 
Oh well. Alright, yeah, there's the nerf. Cool. Um, Fire Shin has taken some hits. And we've got an alt for her. We've got three orbs here. Let's go ahead and just send the alt. So we'll... Uh, hmm. I don't want to waste the steel yet, but I feel like I should steal. Let's go ahead and steal. Alright. So we're going to alt swap away, and then we're going to steal all those into Bride Shuna. <laughs> and then these stacks really don't matter, unless we happen to like naturally pierce or something, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, there are ways to get around terrible hands with this team, this, is, this entire team. We can make it work. It's not, you know, the greatest thing since sliced bread, but it can definitely do something. 200 something damage because we have the attack buff on orbs. <laughs> Oh, and she guarded too, why not? And a, and a counter, a pierce counter, because why not? Alright, we got three alts. We can go ahead and launch these now. So let's... Um, oh, we have to take out Fire Shuna. We're not going to get the synergy buff. Um, well, everyone's attack nerfed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's do this, and then we'll do the alt buff. Lower the water resistance. We'll use the light damage buff, and then we'll do the orb change. And then we can do the stat swap, I guess. And we'll make her hit a little harder. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bride Shuna does 14 and a half. Awesome. Furry Shuna does 31k. Oh, that's a little better. Alright, and then Water Shuna, not being nerfed or anything, does 36k. Okay, well, a little bit less impactful than I was hoping. Alright, well, we're almost down to half HP on her. It's not the worst, right? Okay, Water Shuna, she can tank those hits, that's fine. Alright, oh, the Vengeance is kicking in now. That'll That's, you know, a little bit extra cherry on top, right? And we will full orb change here. So boom. And then we should have enough to use, yes, this Shuna. Uh, free to play Shunas. Orb change. This will give us a decent amount of points back. Yeah, 258 plus another stack. All right, another counter. I swear to God. <laughs> One damage. This is working pretty well. For a, you know, a not true kind of team, right? Um, hmm. More Vengeance. Let's put another stack of Vengeance on when we get her up here. So let's go ahead and yoink a bunch of these because we don't have any blues. So we could steal Water Shuna Orbs. Boom. And then we can put a stack of vengeance on and then give herself the alt and yeah I think we'll do this I wonder if we can actually kill her before she really starts ramping her damage up I don't know if we can though we can try and get an EX alt for this Shuna although the attack buff isn't going to wear off very soon is it uh no she oh shit has gone now okay cool all right, cool. More Vengeance. There's two alts right there. We got a full hand of free-to-play Shuna. Uh, will that get us? I don't think that'll get us her alt. Mm. 75 and 55. We got enough for that. Let's see if we can kill now. So let's bring in um, EX Shuna. We'll give these two ladies the synergy buff. And then we'll bring Water Shuna in for the alt buff. And then we'll use the stat swap and the light buff. And I think we should actually kill Shuna here. I think this will be enough damage. So let's send Furry Shuna first. Let's do another stack just in case we happen to... No, actually, it's bad if we pierce in this stage. That'll cut our damage, technically. All right, let's do... Let's just send it. See if we can kill her. Furry Shuna, 105k. Oh, wow, okay. And then Bride Shuna does 82k. Alright, so Furry Shuna is definitely our 
highest damaging unit because of the stat swap and the wind buff on top of everything else. So we'll run with that more often than not. But there we go. We cleared an EX3 Tempered Edge stage with a full Shuna team fighting herself. We're having an identity crisis. Let's move on. All right, Crucible 100 versus Rimuru. Not exactly what I would call a difficult stage, but, you know, it's something to do. And, you know, there are limited places we can take this Shuna team because uh, there's only so many blue-focused stages and none of the beatdowns that are active are blue-focused. I don't really think we can make a green team here. Um, oh, we can immediately steal turn one. That's actually pretty lucky. And we do need Bride Shuna as our damage unit here now, huh? Okay, let's do that. So we'll just yoink these and we'll call it a day. We're going to do probably a lot of damage here. Yeah, okay. Not a, not a difficult stage by any means. Um, well, it almost worked out. That almost worked. We could use the alt swap, but we don't have many orbs for her, so we're not going to yoink all of them. The blues are also nerfed here, which I didn't realize until just now. So I think we're just going to do... We're going to take her out, and we're going to wait for a good swap next turn, see if we can get that. We'll just kind of get these out of the way, and then maybe we can bring her in, steal some orbs, and then use the alt swap to give it to her, which I think we can do here. Unless... No, okay, we got a three and three. Perfect. So let's bring you in for Water Shuna, and then we'll swap the alt away, and then we'll steal again into six. And this should get her EX alt, and then we can probably just nuke him down. Yeah, I will be okay. We'll be okay. We've got enough points, I think, now to at least synergy buff and light buff. How many, how many do we got? Uh, yeah, we got enough. So, boom, boom. Not enough to use the alt buff, but I highly doubt he's going to live this EX alt to begin with. So, and we've got... Oh, we have no follow-up orbs for her. Oh, no, we do. We have two. Okay, we have... No, we have three, actually. Surprising. Send it. 128k. I mean, we didn't really use the other Shunas for too much, but it still worked out. I guess that goes to show how good Bride Shuna is. How versatile she can be because of the triple alts or the triple orb steal. I mean, I'm not complaining. Are you complaining? I don't think you're complaining. Bride Shun is a great unit. All right, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go into Conquest Millum because it is a, it is still a difficult stage for new players, and we can probably like two turn this with the uh, Bride Shia or Bride Shuna if we get a good hand of her. Uh, turn one, it all kind of just depends. Uh, no one here is Earth. But also, oh, we do have a Wind unit. Uh, okay, we got one orb for her. Maybe we should have put her in the back turn one. Alright, well, we'll move her in the back now. And then we'll just kind of send as we go. Let's get these greens out of here. That's going to steal two of these. But we have another one of Fire Shuna coming in, so maybe we get lucky and get two more. Guard, Synergy. Okay. Yeah, so if we can get a good hand, which I think we just did. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I mean, this is Master, and we're already missing a third of our health bar. I mean, she's still a difficult boss for a lot of early game players. And now we can just completely eliminate her from the face of this planet. Maybe not on this turn, but certainly next turn. So we'll go ahead and yoink these. And we'll give ourselves a two-turn light buff just to help us do extra damage. We'll leave Water Shuna up front, because her having this much health, I think, is still better than bringing a full HP wind unit in here. And if we don't kill her with these, then we'll kill her with the ult next turn. Oh, well, counters aren't great. Neither are guards. Hmm. Yeah, okay, she's probably dead. Another counter? Are you kidding me? Are you gonna four-tap her? One. Oh, two, three, four. Oh, I think if she had 4 tapped her, she actually would have died. I I honestly believe that. Alright, well let's synergy buff and we'll see if we can kill Millum. Three turns, huh? Alright, well, not ideal. But if we can do it, we can do it. So we'll send 1, 2, 3. And she should be dead. There we go, 53k. Boom. I mean, we almost had someone die. 
If she really hates somebody, she's gonna kill him. And there's really nothing you can do about that unless you you bring a full defense team or you literally just one turn her with the hero or something. Okay. Um, next? Question mark? <laughs> 